And then when I move around and move my arms, my boobs don't want to pop out. And you're welcome. So who cares? Why not do your own thing and let them say what they want? What's up guys and welcome to the final video I am ever going to be recording with these old boobs. I did have to go ahead and get a little bit ahead. I do think I'll get back to filming PG content much quicker. In fact, I think I'm gonna be on Twitch all the time after surgery. So give me about a week, week and a half and then I'm gonna be back to creating content. If not the same as before, more frequently than before, check me out on twitch.tv slash Tara Babcock. Come hang out with me as I recover. And don't forget to make sure you turn on the notification bell and and subscribe here so you won't miss any of my after surgery content. But for the before content, I thought it would be cool to make a video wearing some clothing that I really hope fits me better after the new boobs and kind of highlight for you what some of my main issues are with these specific boobs and why I'm upgrading, just in case some of you guys didn't already know. Before we jump into the first outfit, which happens to be this little crop top right here, I do want to let you guys know that we're doing a fundraiser for the most insane boundary pushing thing I have ever ever done on any spicy site. So if you wanna help me reach the goal and see me do that thing, I can't mention what it is, and get tons of exclusive perks that are only available to those of you who add to the fundraiser, don't forget to check out my links in the description, in the link tree, all of them will be right there, but we are specifically talking about the VIP OF for this specific fundraiser. All of my platforms are gonna be getting some form of BTS and are gonna be seeing the results before everyone else, but that's just the best page to do it. So with Without further ado, let's talk about some of the things I hope fit me better that I've always wanted to wear. I've dreamt of wearing these kinds of clothes because each boob job, I kind of had the same issues afterwards that will hopefully be resolved this time because I'm getting the internal bra from Dr. Revis. So this outfit, I don't know if any of you guys have ever noticed, but my right breast always hangs slightly lower than my left breast and bottoms out at the bottom a little bit. I love wearing tiny little string tank tops like this, but I always feel like my my boobs just do not look as big and as fake as I would like them to, especially this one as you can see highlighted with the kind of lighting that I'm using today. Because this one just sinks so much lower than this one. I honestly want them to look more like this without having to be held up by a bra or a really, really tight shirt. I wanna wear like kind of like a flowy, relaxed, comfortable tank top like this with no bra and still look like I have the boobs of my dreams. Another annoying thing when I wear a tank top like this is this side will kind of like pull up a little bit. So this part will be uneven and it'll make my boobs look way more uneven. Now my unevenness of my boobs is accentuated now because I lost the 30 pounds. Before it was, it was more like, it, it wasn't that bad. Like a lot of people couldn't notice it. Now I'm pointing it out to people they're like, oh yeah, I can definitely see that. So loose little flowy tank tops. Here's hoping that's all I wear after the surgery because that's what I'm planning on. By the way, stay tuned to the end because the last outfit is a micro bikini. Anyway, the next outfit that I want to fit me better or look more flattering after the boob job is a low plunge, no support dress. This dress I actually have in three different colors. It's one of my favorite dresses and I would always have to tape this boob up because not only would it just sink down and make me look saggy, at least on one side, if not on both sides. But my boobs would also just pop out because they're not really up and held in place as much. They're kind of more like natural feeling right now where there's a lot of movement side to side instead of them having more of the perkiness that I prefer. So let's go ahead and put this one on so I can show it off to you. Okay, so I love the low plunge of this dress. And I think it is so, so sexy, especially this little slit right here. I probably should have chosen a different color so you can kind of see how it silhouettes my body. It's just, oh, so sexy. But as you can see, the boobs just do not look like they should. I want them looking like this. I want to have to use minimal tape in order to keep them where they're supposed to be. And I also don't want to have as bony of a rib cage. Now, Kristen actually got this kind of internal bra before I did her last procedure included the internal bra and she said before the internal bra she actually had a more bony sternum as well and she thinks it's because the boobs are kind of pulling down on the skin and also my boobs are not all the way under the muscle they're only half under the muscle I plan to go fully under the muscle and then I'm going to rock 
the shit out of this fucking dress again. Probably no tape. And if I do have to do tape, it's just gonna be a little bit of tape over the nipples. It's not gonna be me trying to prop this boob up and pull this other one down. And there's not gonna be so much of a refund gap in the middle. I have more of a refund gap now that I've lost a lot of volume from the weight loss. I used to think that like the separation between my boobies was actually okay, but it has gotten a lot worse. And I just find dresses like this to be so me, so elegant. I don't like a super long dress or a dress that's gonna cover me up, but I do like the elegance of a long sleeve low plunge. And I've never been able to comfortably wear a low plunge and actually feel confident that my boobs are gonna stay in place and look the way that I want them to, which is super fake and held up and at least symmetrical. This is the next kind of outfit that I never ever liked the way that I looked in because of my boobs. And this happens to be an off the shoulder style dress. Let's go ahead and put it on and then we'll talk about why I specifically don't like it on me. This is why. Because it makes me look like I have literally no boob, at least on one side. So there's no cleavage here. There's a little bit of cleavage on this side, but as you can see, like if I just had it up this way, moving my arms up and stuff and the dress riding up on me wouldn't be as much of an issue. I also don't like the fact that you can totally tell that this boob is lower than this boob in dresses like this and just moving around, it ends up moving the dress on my body and making me look like I have no boob on one side or on both sides. I want the boobs to just be up here sitting like this. So I always have a little bit of cleavage on the top and I can always pull it down a little bit and it kind of sticks there because the boobs aren't wanting to suck down and hide under my dress. I always avoid off the shoulder shirts and dresses because of this issue, especially if it's a crop top, this boob will actually start coming out as an under boob because the rest of the dress or shirt is sliding up every time I just move around a little bit. I basically have this weird perpetual issue where my boob just wants to slide down underneath clothes and this boob wants to stay up. So I end up looking even more lopsided than I am. I think this is probably a good time in the video to tell you that I don't hate my boobs as they are right now. I actually really like my boobs, especially naked. I think naked, they still look pretty fucking good. It's just, there are these things that I've always wanted to change about my boobs that have now accentuated tenfold now that I've lost weight. And I always told myself I wanted to wait until I got down to my goal weight because I don't know what my boobs would look like if I just got them done and then lost the weight. So as a huge present to me, and I'm very thankful that I, one, I'm able to afford this, and two, I'm able to kind of write stuff like this off because it's for my job, which I totally deserve because I pay so fucking much in taxes, in my opinion at least. I deserve it. I'm so grateful that I'm able to do this and I feel like I'm kind of just doing this big thing to celebrate how much weight I've lost and how much effort and badassery I've put into my body and my health this last year and a half. I feel like I deserve it and it's time and I just wanna have big old perfect anime titties that are held up the way that I want because this has literally been an ongoing thing for me through two boob jobs and over what, 12, 16 years. I'm ready to treat myself now that I've treated my body right. By the way guys, little side note too, to just illustrate how proud I am of myself. I got my blood work back so that I could be cleared for surgery. It was literally immaculate. The only thing was that I need some vitamin D supplements because I'm on the low end of my vitamin D. But everything else was right in the middle. Like when you look at the cholesterol and everything, I used to have a little bit high cholesterol, bad cholesterol. Now it's like low, low and there's like a scale and it's like low risk, high risk, and then like normal. I'm at the very end of low risk. Everything was flying colors. I am fucking healthy as shit. And it's so cool to see these metrics both in like my fitness pal with my heart rate and stuff and my VO2 max and all of that, but also through my blood work, like taking care of your body really does fucking pay off. And I'm so proud of myself. So anyway, I think I deserve boobs. Next outfit. The next kind of outfit is another going out style outfit. There are other types of outfits that are just like more casual or like crop tops that are kind of like this and have this issue. But I'm going to really illustrate how moving my arms makes my boobs come out of the bottom of most dresses because the boobs hang so much lower than they quote unquote should. And I think this one will illustrate it very, very well. So here. Okay, so I am all for an under boob dress, but the arms of this dress insert up here and I have to pull this down to try to cover the boobs because they're kind of supposed to be up here so that the arm is pulled down. And like a lot of dresses like this fit me like that where the arm is kind of not where it's supposed to be intersecting with the rest of the body because I'm trying to cover my boobs and it just gets a little like fat up here while they're being kind of held up here. And then 
throughout the night. See, like, my, my underboob is just gonna come right out of this fucking dress. I could not wear this dress when I was heavier because I had such softer, fatter boobs that, like, this boob would just instantly slip out. And, like, my boobs just want to come all the way out, especially this one. So it's always uneven. It always stays uneven. And with this one, even the double-backed pasties, like, with the tape on them, could not save me from having wardrobe malfunctions all night. But I want to be able to wear stuff like this with a little bit of under boob and not worry about the top being so low that it's like barely like look how much like under boob sag I have compared to like no cleavage at the top. I want this dress to make me look like this with the tiniest amount of under boob and then when I move around and move my arms my boobs don't want to pop out. Last but not least we have the micro bikini and I'll tell you exactly why. I'm gonna have to censor it but give you a little taste anyway. All right, and you're welcome. This is the last outfit, and as you can see, I have to tie the back of this bikini so tight to keep my boobs in place. I have little bits of areola coming out of either side of the tiny little triangles, which is why it is censored right now. But one of the other reasons, the other changes that I wanna make to my boobs, other than lifting them up here, showing off a little bit more of my abs, and making them look a little more anime titty, is I want small smaller areola. And honestly, my tits are actually pretty fucking nice, especially with a slight skin filter or good lighting on them. They look fucking pretty good. But if you look really close in harsh lighting, you can see that the outsides of my areola, and if you're on my spicy sites, you might have noticed this, are a little pulled and jagged and not perfectly round. I tried to make my areola smaller with my last procedure, and it just did not take, and they stretched out bigger than they were even before. So I'm quite not happy with my areola. And with a body that looks this good in a micro bikini, I want to have boobs that stay in place and are easy to hide with whichever micro bikini I decide to wear. So, let me know if you want a part two of this to see what they look like after. I can do that in maybe a couple months. I don't know how long it's gonna take for me not to have, as Kristen puts it, Frankenboob. But you can go ahead and follow my journey on all of the platforms. I'll be on Instagram a little bit, but the best platforms are gonna be the spicy sites in my link tree down in the description, as I've said before. I appreciate your viewership, and if you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, let me know in the comment section. I love that, and I'm gonna have a lot of free time to read stuff like that. So please do post your opinions and questions. Maybe your question will be in the next FNM too. I'm also gonna be posting a lot of stuff to my wish list for the new boobs, so if you wanna spoil me with a little bit of clothes, I'm being really careful with my finances right now, especially after the boobs and some other stuff that's happened to me lately. So helping me with a nice little haul and buying me something sexy for the new boobs would be very much appreciated and will always be in the Friday Night Mail. Remember guys, I make a Friday Night Mail when I get something in the mail. And let me know if you want that part two. Let's see if I get everything I wish for with this new boob job. Have a wonderful day and I'll see you guys very soon.